Last time we created our game logic and now we need to count our guesses and also prompt the user if he wants to play the game again when he guesses correctly. For that we need to create a button, excuse me, and I'm going to name this button, so I'm going to select it and name it play and I'm going to resize it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, well, the size of our input field and I'm simply going to paste it right here on our button. So for the height is 112. And I'm also going to position it at, well, this position the same way where our input field is and zero for the X axis. And here we have a text, which is a child of our button. I'm going to resize it a little bit and I'm going to, well, type here, play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off our button so that it's not visible in our, well, game view. And now if we go back here, I'm also going to create here a serialized field, which is going to be a private game object, and I'm going to name it BTN for our button. And what I'm also going to do is create here a public void play again function. And inside of this function, we are going to, or this function is going to be attached on our button in order to, well, restart the game when the user finishes. But before that, here where we are getting the input, I'm going to use our count guesses plus plus. And this is going to increment our guesses each time we, well, guess. So when we guess one time, this is going to be plus or equal to plus one. So this is equivalent to typing count guesses is equal to count guesses plus one. So practically, practically only adding one value to our count guesses. And here what we can do, you guess correctly, the number was guess, and here we can type plus again, and we can say it took you, and here we can say plus, again, we can plus or type plus for our count guesses, and again, we need to append a string and say, well, plus here, and we can say it took you, and here we can say guess as like this, it took you, well, count these guesses or how many times we, well, try to guess. And we can go back and now let's say we try again. So if I run the game and I say 50, your number is less. Let's say 75, number is greater. Let's say 65, number is less. Okay, let's say 70, number is greater. 67, less. Okay, 68, you guess correctly, the number is 68, it took you five guesses in order to guess while well, our game or our number. So let us now prompt the user to well play the game again if he well guesses correctly. And here we can say well comma and we can say do you want so do you want to play again and with the question mark or we can also remove this comma. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, when we guess correctly, I'm going to use this, well, button and, well, type here, set active to be equal to true. And this is going to activate our button. And if I go back, so let us play the game again, and we are going to see when we win our game, this is going to activate our button. So let's say 50 number is greater, 25 number is greater, 15 number is less, 20, okay, let's say 17. So number is less, let's say 18, okay, then it's 19. So you guessed correctly, the number was 19 and it took you six guesses. And what I forgot is I forgot to add a reference to our button. So here we need to drag our play button, which is right here. And again, I will play the game and we need to, well, the number is less than, so let's say 75. So 75 number is greater than, okay, 65 greater, 55 greater 54 53 okay you guessed correctly the number is 53 it took you five guesses do you want to play again and here we have our play button this is going to prompt the user to play the game again so what we are going to do is inside of this play again function so if the user presses that button what we want to do is we want to well use this well again to reinitialize our number so here I'm just going to copy and paste this code. So number is equal to random range. Again, reinitializing our number and typing for the user, guess a number between 0 and 100. One important thing that we need to do is we need to reset our count guesses. Because if we want to play again here, here we need to say count guesses is equal to 0 or otherwise 
if we guessed five times and we don't reset here to zero and we play again, it will start to count from the number five, not from number zero. And here we need to say btn, which is our button, set active to be equal to false in order to, well, deactivate our button again. And now we can go back here and I can select my play button. And the same way we added our, well, function to our input field, we are going to add it here to our button. And I'm going to drag our game controller. And here in our game controller script, I'm going to attach this play again function, which is this one right here that we just coded. So now if I run the game and I'm guessing a number, so let's say 50, our number is less. Okay, 75 is greater. Okay, let's say 65, it's less. Okay, 70, greater. Okay, 67, less. Okay, 68. You guessed correctly, the number was 68. It took you five guesses. Do you want to play again? If we click on play, guess a number between zero and 100. And again, we can play the game. So 50, your number or guess number is greater than. So let's say 25, number is less. Okay, 35 number is greater okay let's say 30 greater again 26 oh excuse me 36 let's say 27 less than okay 28 okay then 29 so your number or you guess correctly the number was 29 it took you seven guesses do you want to play again so we have practically finished our game which is a simple game guess a number game an old classic game so yeah this is the logic and this is how can we do it if you like these tutorials and you want me to continue, please subscribe, comment and thumbs up for the video. Also, if you like what you see and you like my teaching techniques, I'm also an instructor on Udemy and I will link my Udemy course in the description below with a discount for you. If you want to buy the course, which is a complete 2D game development course in Unity, where you will build seven fully featured games from scratch and you will give well, you will also implement gameplay you will create players create well enemies for that player you will create menus create level lock unlock system character lock unlock system you will i don't know create weapons uh, you will make your user select his, the weapons for the player so on and so forth much stuff or, or many stuff is going on in that tutorial or that course it's 27 hours, well, the duration of the course. You will also implement in-app purchases, many other things. And I will also continue here with the tutorial series. I also have another game that I will, well, make a tutorial for, which is a puzzle game. And also I have a puzzle game in that course. Anyway, you can check it out. It's in the description below with a discount for you. And as I said, I I'm going to continue with this tutorial series here on my YouTube channel. And as I said, subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you in the next video.